Praise be Jesus Christ. You've probably heard about my plan. Don't try to talk me out of it. I want to get myself something that floats, either my paddleboard or a canoe, or maybe my brother's fishing boat, and I want to sail out to the middle of Lake Ontario, beyond the horizon, where all I can see around me, 360, is water and horizon. And I want to get, you know, in science class, they had those little eyedropper things, so you can measure exactly one drop. I want to get one of those glass eyedroppers, and I want to take a drop of water when I'm in the middle of Lake Ontario, and all I can see is water. I want to take an eyedropper, and I want to drop one drop of water into the sea. Based on Sirach chapter 18, it says, now listen to this. The number of a man's days is great if he reaches a hundred years. Like a drop of water in the sea or a grain of sand. Such are these few years compared with eternity. We've lost our sense of eternity. Most of us are living as though this life is all we have. We don't realize that our citizenship is in heaven. This short life, we're meant to simply do good, to be holy, to do God's will, to rejoice in the Lord, to, to lay our lives down in love for other people. That's what this short life is all about, this little drop of water. Every one of us is supposed to live with an eternal perspective. We're supposed to be aware of our identity, that we were created for way more than this short life. And we're also supposed to remember our Lord Jesus's repeated warnings that one day there's going to be a separation. The goats and the sheep, the good fish and the bad fish, the weeds and the wheat, the fools and the wise, the virgins who had oil, the ones who didn't have oil, and so on. We will be judged, Scripture says, at the end of our life, and that will determine where we spend eternity. God desperately wants us to receive His love and have eternal life. He wants this so badly that He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for us. In God's Word, we're shown the way, the truth, the life, the way to eternal life, we have no excuse. The gates of heaven are wide open for those who believe in the Lord Jesus and accept his salvation. Brothers and sisters, we need to be those who proclaim to an unbelieving generation the reality of eternity and the gift of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior. Because so many people are being led astray. They have no idea that they were made for eternity and they're living their lives in a way that does not lead to heaven. So brothers and sisters, let me know what you think about my idea, getting out middle of Lake Ontario to uh, make that impression deep within my mind, heart and soul that yes, this life is so short and eternity is forever. Viva Cristo Rey.